Gilmerton Cove is a mysterious and historic site located 15 feet beneath a modest house on Drum Street in Gilmerton, a suburb of Edinburgh, Scotland. The network of seven chambers and numerous tunnels were hand-carved from the sandstone beneath the streets, and the intended purpose of these tunnels has remained a mystery for over 300 years. The discovery of Gilmerton Cove is believed to date back to the 18th century, and since then, various theories have been proposed to explain its origins and purpose. Some people believe that the seven chambers and numerous passages were a base for establishments, while others suggest it was a hiding place for religious refugees or simply a place for the gentry to drink. The only certainty that has been reached is that the cove was definitely not linked to the production of ore, despite Gilmerton formerly being a mining town. One possible basis for the theory that the cove was a discreet drinking place for the gentry comes from parish records, which confirm that in the 18th century the tunnels were the residence of blacksmith George Patterson, who was reprimanded for allowing the consumption of alcohol within the cove. The traditional theory, is that the cove was the work of George Patterson, a blacksmith, who is said to have excavated it between 1719 and 1724 as a home and workshop for himself and his family. This theory first emerged in 1769 in verses written by the poet Alexander Pennycuick and was given wider circulation in a detailed description of the cove published in 1792 by the Reverend Thomas White in the Transactions of the Society of the Antiquaries of Scotland. In 2007 the documentary series Cities of the Underworld featured the cove in the episode Scotland's Sin City. They concluded that the cove was linked to the nearby Hellfire Club via a secret passage. The Hellfire Clubs were a loose association of high society membership organizations for people who were reputed to engage in immoral activities, possibly including mock religious ceremonies where they ate Holy Ghost Pie, Breast of Venus, and Devil's Loin. But beyond that, the clubs themselves are shrouded in mystery as well. The only certain thing, is that the cove has remained a mystery and a source of speculation for centuries. The relative proximity to Rosslyn Chapel, three and a half miles to the south, has perhaps inevitably given rise to theories involving the Knights Templar, who are believed to have had a connection to Rosslyn. But there is no concrete evidence to support this theory. In 1997, a comprehensive archaeological investigation of Gilmerton Cove took place. Rubble blocking some of the chambers and passageways, but not others, was removed, and a set of stone steps providing a rear entrance was uncovered. Also uncovered were a network of drainage channels and various artifacts from the last three centuries. The overall conclusion, however, was that Gilmerton Cove had been so regularly used and reused over recent centuries that meaningful archaeological evidence of its origins had been lost. A recent ground penetration survey has indicated that the caves are significantly larger than previously estimated, possibly up to twice as large, but some are inaccessible. This only adds to the mystery and intrigue surrounding Gilmerton Cove. It is believed that the network of passageways and chambers may be more extensive than that currently exposed. Despite the lack of concrete evidence regarding the origins and purpose of Gilmerton Cove, it remains an intriguing and fascinating place to visit. In 2003, the newly restored cove was opened to the public as an educational resource for the community, after a five-year collaborative project between the Gilmerton Heritage Trust and the City of Edinburgh Council. Visitors can take a tour of the cove and explore the mysterious.